Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most fascinating and endangered world heritage sites in the world. The minaret and archaeological remains of Jam in Afghanistan. But first, what is UNESCO World Heritage? And how are sites chosen for this prestigious list? UNESCO stands for United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. And it is a specialized agency of the UN that aims to promote peace and cooperation through education, science, culture, and communication. One of its main activities is to identify, protect, and preserve the cultural and natural heritage of humanity that has outstanding universal value. To be included on the World Heritage List, sites must meet at least one of ten criteria related to cultural or natural significance. These criteria include representing a masterpiece of human creative genius, exhibiting an important interchange of human values, or containing exceptional natural beauty. Now let's talk about the minaret and archaeological remains of Jam, which is located in a remote and rugged valley in the central highlands of Afghanistan along the Hari Rud River. The minaret was built in 1194 by the great Girid Sultan Giyas Ad Din, who ruled over a vast empire that stretched from eastern Iran to northern India. The minaret is a graceful and soaring structure rising to 65 meters from a 9 meter diameter octagonal base. It is made of fired bricks and covered with geometric decoration in relief, enhanced with a Qufic inscription in turquoise tiles at the top. The inscription reveals the name of the builder, the date of construction, and a reference to the Abbasid Caliph of Baghdad, indicating the political and religious affiliation of the Ghurid dynasty. The minaret is a masterpiece of Islamic architecture and decoration, and it represents the culmination and influence of an artistic tradition that developed in this region. The minaret is also believed to mark the site of the ancient city of Firuzga, which was the summer capital of the Girids and a center of culture and learning. The surrounding archaeological remains include a Jewish cemetery, a water reservoir, and vestiges of castles and towers of the Girid settlement. The Minaret of Jam is the second tallest brick minaret in the world, after the Cut Minor in Delhi, which was inspired by it. The Minaret of Jam is also known as the Minaret of Giyath al-Din, after the name of its builder, who was one of the most powerful and influential rulers of the Girid dynasty. The Minaret of Jam is located at the confluence of two rivers, the Hari Rud and the Jam, which form a natural boundary between the regions of Gore and Herat. The rivers also provide a source of water and irrigation for the surrounding agricultural lands. The minaret of Jam is decorated with intricate geometric patterns and calligraphic bands, which reflect the influence of the Seljuk and Abbasid styles of art and architecture. The patterns are made of fired bricks that are cut and arranged in different shapes and sizes. The calligraphic bands contain verses from the Quran and the names of Allah, Muhammad, Ali, and the Girid rulers. The minaret of Jam is surrounded by archaeological remains that date back to different periods and civilizations, such as the Achaemenid, the Greco-Bactrian, the Kushan, the Sasanian, the Ghaznavid, and the Girid. Some of the notable remains include a Jewish cemetery, a palace, a mosque, a fort, and a water reservoir. The minaret of Jam and its archaeological remains are in danger of destruction and deterioration due to natural disasters, such as earthquakes, floods, and landslides, as well as human factors, such as war, conflict, vandalism, and looting. The site has been on the UNESCO list of world heritage in danger since 2002, and it requires urgent measures to ensure its protection and conservation. Who discovered the minaret and archaeological remains of Jam? The minaret and archaeological remains of Jam were first discovered by Sir Thomas Holdick, a British geographer and explorer, who was working for the Afghan Boundary Commission in 1886. However, the site was lost and forgotten again until it was rediscovered by French archaeologists Ander Merrick and Gaston Wyatt in 1957. 
They were the first to bring the minaret to the world's attention and to conduct a preliminary survey of the site. Since then, several other archaeological missions have been carried out to document and protect the site. Such as the Minaret of Jam Archaeological Project, led by the University of Cambridge. The site was inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2002. To conclude, the minaret and archaeological remains of Jam are a unique and exceptional testimony to a civilization that flourished in the 12th and 13th centuries and left a lasting legacy in the arts and architecture of the Islamic world. The site is also a symbol of the cultural diversity and tolerance that existed in this region, as evidenced by the presence of a Jewish community and the inscription of the Abbasid Caliph. However, the site is also in danger of being lost forever, due to the effects of natural disasters, civil unrest, illegal excavations, and looting. The site was inscribed on the World Heritage List in 2002, and also on the list of World Heritage in Danger, which means that it requires urgent measures to ensure its safeguarding. UNESCO and other international and local organizations have been working to protect and preserve the site by providing technical and financial assistance, raising awareness and involving the local communities. The site is a precious and fragile heritage that belongs to all of us, and we have a responsibility to ensure its survival for future generations. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, let me know what other world heritage sites you would like me to talk about in my next videos. See you soon!